Um, hey, hi, what's up? So, I know it's been a while. Um, you know what I'm saying? I was swimming like a crocodile. <gasps> you guys want to edit like me so bad, you expect me to be an AE project file. <laughs> oh, bro, I should be a rapper, not gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Let me do part two. Hold on, <clears throat> I should be a rapper because every time I spit my bars, I eat it up and just leave the rapper. Get it? Because I wasn't talking about like a rap artist. I was talking about the rapper, like a candy. Like I ate the oh candy God, and you know, the oh rapper. Was like, hell no, man. man. What the fuck? Oh, that's so funny. Such a knee slapper. <laughs> I pull up to your crib in a tractor. <laughs> she think I'm Ghostface because I'm an actor. <laughs> she gonna claim I attacked her because I broke her back like a chiropractor. Hey. Oh! Yeah! Alright, let me start with the joke. So, in today's video, you know what I'm saying, you read the title, or whatever. We're gonna be doing effect ideas for After Effects. Part 2. Yes, this is indeed part 2. Um, you guys really, really enjoyed part 1. So, um, I was like, let me just, you know what I'm saying, bring part 2. Because, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Am I gonna apologize for my upload schedule? No. Why? You may ask me. Because, I'm about to tell you. I've been I've been posting I've been posting tutorials, and then you may be like, "What? No, you haven't. I haven't seen nothing on your channel." Maybe because I haven't posted on my channel. You know, my last video I was basically promoting my Patreon, and I've been posting my tutorials over there. I'm not saying I'm gonna quit YouTube and stop posting on here, but I'm just saying, like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you guys want more uh, in-depth tutorials, definitely subscribe to my Patreon. Link in the description. I'll be making like 30 minute, 40 minute tutorials and like with no cuts. So it's not, it's not like a YouTube video where I have like a bunch of cuts, a bunch of memes and just like messing around. Like if you really want to learn After Effects and get to like, you know, get better, then I'll say my Patreon is definitely worth it. <laughs> Okay, so I imported the first picture for the first effect, and this is me. You know, go follow my Instagram. Go follow my Instagram. You know what I'm saying? W promo. You know what I'm saying? Go follow my Instagram. I don't have an editing account as in right now because my stuff just keeps getting deleted by Instagram. And I love when Instagram does it. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Okay, so this first effect is going to be uh, uh, the eye smear effect. Um, now, so I know Lauren doesn't like this effect. She actually, like, hates it. She has it on her little video talking about effects that she hates or something like that. So for this next clip, we have an effect that I have a very long history with, right? It's CC smear. Now, let me explain myself while I do this. Do I like CC smear? Not one bit. I don't think it looks good. I think it's overused. I think it was cool during that, like, 2017, 2018, like, Dolan Twins, Lauren Gray editing era. Lauren, I hope you know. But you're just a trash editor. I'm sorry. Hey, I said it. I'm sorry. You know, if you're a real editor like me, you know what I'm saying? You should be able to get whatever effect and turn it into some fire. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. You feel me? That's tough. That's tough. So when I, was, I was just kidding. Okay, I'm, I'm playing. It was, it, was, it was just a jokey joke. I'm sorry. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, import your picture, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna comp this picture just so uh, the scaling is right. All right, so the effect is called CC Smear. It's right here. Um, and then we're gonna drag it right here, right? So basically, what you're gonna do is right here, there's a thing behind um, the anchor point, but you just can't see it, but just drag it, and as you can see, and then put it in your eye, like that, or on your eye, and then bring this one down here. But that looks so ugly. Hold on, we we gotta fix it. But bring it down to where you see like the pupil. Like you don't want it. You don't want to see this type of stuff. You want the pupil to show more. So sometimes it's hard, bro. Pause. Um, maybe. Oh my god, that looks so ugly. Maybe another picture, bro. I think I think I'm making it ugly. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do it just like that. And then right here on reach. Wait, is it? Yeah. Um, click to add a keyframe. Press you on your keyboard, bring it to uh, a little bit forward, and then um, at the beginning, we're gonna bring this to zero, so it'll be like you know, what I'm saying normal. So it's gonna go like this, but that just looks weird. Like, why is it going so slow, right? You have to adjust the graph. So, easy ease these if you don't know how to easy ease, um, right click or highlight these, 
right click keyframe assistant easy so we can click this go to over go over to your graph editor and then we're gonna do something like this and then you see it looks better now but it's a little bit too slow so we're gonna do this and then do this let me see zoop zoop and then we're gonna duplicate um the smear so basically get over here and then duplicate uh command d if you don't know how to do that for some reason and then now we're on smear too right we're gonna want to bring this keyframe or this little i forgot what this is called it but just grab this little thing and then bring it over here and then go over here to the second uh thing and then just bring it over here so something like this but that looks so ugly i guess it depends on your picture why do i look like that oh my god um bro i look so ugly hold on let me <laughs> let me drag another picture hold on be right back a few moments later hold on let me see yeah that looks fire i so yeah it was definitely me that was you know <sighs> it was me that was making the effect look bad you know it's okay by the way i forgot to say this but i'm bro i'm certified now i'm a professional editor now like i, I actually like for real, for real, like i got the little certificate by adobe and stuff you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to brag or nothing but i'm a pro all right so for the next effect um what was the next effect so this next effect is it is an effect but it can be used as a transition so i was thinking right so i was gonna name this video effects slash transitions but i might just make a whole separate video on transitions um transition ideas you know what i'm saying because effects and transitions aren't really the same so um yeah let me know if you guys want a part three you know what i'm saying of like effects or if i should make like a transitions video okay so basically what we're gonna do right um damn i'm gonna need another picture hold on uh <laughs> Okay, so I just put them um like in the middle, so it, like a, we're getting ready to do a transition. Let me comp both of them, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a slide. It can be downwards or to the side. I'm gonna do it going down. So now, once you have this right, you uh comp both of the layers. And then we're gonna go over to effects and presets and we're gonna type in cc scale wipe um and then just add this to the clip so basically what this does is if you i don't know if you see right here stretch if you boost this up it basically stretches the image so that's basically what we're gonna do but the direction is 50 degrees so we're gonna have to bring it to like 180 because we're gonna be doing it we're gonna be stretching it down so once you have this, it should stretch down or up, you know, if you go to the negatives. So now we um, make a keyframe for stretch, press U on your keyboard, bring it over here, and we're gonna stretch it about like, like that. And then it's the same thing. So you're gonna easy ease and then just do this. But this time I'm not gonna like make it tight, pause, but I'm gonna do it like this. So I can like stretch a little bit before it actually, you know what I'm saying, moves, so like that. You can barely see it. If you want to see it even more, you can stretch this even more. And then, or bring this back and then stretch it even more over here. And then do this. See, so now you can actually see that it's stretching. And then you're going to copy it and then paste it on the second clip just like this. Uh, but now it's stretching like this and we don't want that. So we're going to bring the direction back to 180. Um, and it's going to be like this, but this is wrong so for the beginning keyframe we're gonna go to the negatives so i guess if we're doing 23 over here let's just go ahead and do negative 23 and then at the end we're just gonna bring this to zero um so just like this and then one keyframe up for, so i can be a little bit smoother and then we're gonna change the keyframe to this or actually no let me do it less let's see and if we play it, you get this little effect. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so for this next effect, I'm actually gonna be using a video. I, I feel like this is like my first time using a video. By the way, 
I know how to edit videos. Like, I, bro, I'm a professional. Like, come on, come on now. Okay, so basically, the effect that we're gonna be doing is this right here that I did on an edit, and it's basically you duplicate um the sub. You're gonna duplicate him twice, one over here and one over here, and then on the clones his face is going to be blurred out that's a cool effect okay so let's get started so the first thing you, you want to do is of course get your clips you can also do this with pictures you know if it's just a picture you can duplicate it into two clones and then blur their face out you know what i'm saying so all right so we're going to comp this layer so you can have this and then we're going to duplicate it once and then we're going to go over here to roto brush and we're going to double click on the clip so we can use a roto brush um basically go like this that was a sus shape. What the heck? Hey yo, what the fuck? Um, and as you can see, we pretty much already got it. Um, fine. So and we skip around and see if there's any, you know, mistakes. For example, let's go back right here. His shirt over here messes up. So we're just gonna, or his sweater, whatever that is. But once you have all of these done, you just freeze, and then it should take a little bit. So once it finishes, uh, you click the X and then now you're, you're back at your uh, comp. And then we're going to go back to the selection tool. Now, if we solo this layer, as you can see, he's already comped. Now we're going to adjust uh, the feathering. So we're going to up the, the feather a little bit, just like this. And then you see it, it looks good. So now um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to duplicate this layer again. So this top layer is yes it's a solo of uzi but we want it because we're trying to hide this middle layer which is going to go over here so this layer at the bottom is the background layer so let me name it background oh my god here's the fucking dictionary and this top layer is going to be main uzi which is not going to be moved neither is the bottom one so basically we could just lock them but it doesn't really matter so we're going to be using this bottom one i'm going to change the color to green um, and then this is, has rotor brush and everything, right? We're just going to comp it. So boom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use position and then make a keyframe and then a little bit forward. And then it's going to do this. So basically it's going to go from here to this. Um, and then we're going to easy ease these and then, uh, separate dimensions. And then I'm going to make. I'm going to use this graph right here. Oop, I just messed it up. This graph, so it goes zoom. You see? There you go. Something I forgot to say to make it easier. If you comp this layer, go back in the, in the layer. And we're going to go ahead and do the blurry face effect right now. So let me comp this again. We're going to duplicate this layer. And then we're going to go over here and then just make a little, uh, go to the ellipse tool. And we're going to make a circle on this face. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you know what I'm saying? Make a circle. And then on this top layer, we're gonna we're gonna drop mosaic. Right here, you can select how many pixels you want. Um, if you don't want that many or whatever, you can enable this sharp colors and it's gonna give it this other effect. Um, which is like a little subtle effect, but you know. Now we're gonna go back to the main comp. There you go. So now we have this. And now what we're gonna do is just we're gonna duplicate this middle layer, which should be green. I don't know why it just changed. I think it because I comped it. Uh green. And then we're going to duplicate it and then go to this second frame and basically just move it to the other direction. So over here and then just fix the graph. Oh, it's already fixed. Never mind. It's good. So now, now you have this effect. Boom. Um, and also for the background, what you can do, you can even let me take the lock off. You can add something cool in the background. For example, um, you can duplicate these two. Um, two clones we're gonna comp them right and you're gonna duplicate them and then go to the bottom one and we can add we're gonna add turbulence displays and then it's gonna add this effect if we just solo this layer so we can see what, where we're working on um and then you can just basically mess around with these effects uh complexity maybe size we bring it like this so it can look like this and then we're gonna do evolution so i can move with time for example like this let me do a little bit more like that you know now it looks like this it looks a little bit weird but if we turn it off it gives this little effect you know and then what we can do is we can add glow so i'm going to be using s underscore glow which is the sapphire uh glow and now we have this 
which looks pretty cool if you really you know what i'm saying it looks cool what do you guys think about it and there you go this is i mean this is pretty much it for the effect and the video if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more of this definitely drop a like let's go for 5,000 likes you know i've never set a like goal like ever and let's go for 4,000 likes if you guys reach that i'll make another video if you don't then you ain't getting a video you know what i'm saying also make sure you're subscribed you know if you really enjoy my videos and you've watched a couple of my videos and you're still not subscribed like what are you doing so my goal for the end of this year is to reach 50k so you know what i'm saying you know i'm not the most consistent youtuber so hopefully i still reach the uh the goal you can follow me on twitch you know what i'm saying sometimes i'll be streaming on there um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um have a good day i'll see you guys next time um deuces hey.